Well, it's a sunny day in early July, and it's a perfect day to do some solar cooking. Sometimes when I mention my solar ovens, uh, people are a little skeptical as to what I can actually cook in these ovens. And so today, I'm going to see if I can prove a point. I have two whole chickens, and I have them prepared uh, to put one in each of these ovens. It's about 10 o'clock right now, and I'm going to go ahead and put the chickens in, and hopefully they'll be done around supper time. The thing to remember with uh, solar ovens like these, uh, panel cookers and box ovens, is that they're like slow cookers, and they do take some time, and the more food mass you have, the longer they'll take. So because I have a whole chicken in each one, it's going to be pretty much an all-day thing. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven and see how it goes. Well, it looks like my box oven is already preheated to a little over 200, so that should get things off to a good start. I have the chicken in there. I haven't done anything to it other than add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to set it right in here. See how long it takes. All right, the panel cooker is a little bit different. Once again, I have a whole chicken in the pan, just have some salt and pepper on it. With a panel cooker, you have to put the cooking vessel inside a tent, as we call it, which is just a, an oven bag. And by the way, as you noticed, uh, even in the other oven, the cooking containers must be black. And preferably, unless you're preheating the container, lightweight is good, because the more mass you have, the longer it's going to take to heat up that container and heat up the food inside of it. So since we're not preheating the pan itself, lightweight is good. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this in here so that the heat can get trapped. Now a couple other uh, things that can help. I'm going to take a couple pebbles and put it inside the tent underneath the container. That lifts it up, puts a little bit of insulating airspace underneath, and that also helps with the efficiency of an oven like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and tie this closed, make sure there's some air in there. All right, we have some air space. That'll get very hot and uh, should be able to do some cooking. two hours and the sun is a little higher in the sky so I'm going to adjust the reflector angle here so it's a little more beneficial. All right it's about 3 30 in the afternoon. See there's some moisture collected on the inside of the bag on the panel cooker and some moisture underneath the, the glass of the oven, of the box oven. And so that's a sign that we're making good progress. Um, it's possible that it's done, because it's been five and a half hours. But the nice thing about solar cooking is that because of the low heat, um, food doesn't dry out. And so uh, we won't be ready to actually have supper for another hour, hour and a half. And so there's no reason to take this out. We'll just leave it in there. If it needs to continue to cook, uh, that's fine. If it's already done, it doesn't matter anyway because it will stay nice and moist and it won't cook off the moisture. So. Um, we're going to let it for another hour or so. I'll keep adjusting as the sun moves and we'll check on it again when it's supper time. Well, it's 4.30 in the afternoon and that means the chicken has been in here for six and a half hours and so let's check it and see if it's done. Looks like it's just falling off the bone. Let's take a look at the panel cooker and see how it did. Thank mm -hmm. you.